Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the delay. Please be seated. Hi. Mr. Williams, please join us. Mr. Carpathia, we agreed there would be no media at this conference. Mr. Williams will be joining our delegation as its own media liaison. These changes should have been discussed beforehand with us. Mr. Williams, journalistic credentials have always shown him to be a man only interested in the truth. That is what we are interested in here, the truth. Won't you all agree? Mm -hmm. We are about to turn this planet into a paradise, unimaginable, only a few short weeks ago. Ten oasis regions, where each delegate is given complete control over his respective area. True global community, a true world of peace. This marks the beginning of our seven years of peace, of seven years. This marks the beginning of the rise of the Antichrist. He will control ten kingdoms, which in turn will control the world. The Antichrist will sit in the temple of God and he will declare to the whole world that he is God. Upon each of you, I grant all the power and authority due to your new positions. You are now kings and queens in your own lands, bringing prosperity and plenty to your peoples. All in my name. Nikolai, what are you saying? We never agreed to this. In the garden, there was a serpent who tempted Eve, leading to man's banishment from paradise. That serpent has stood between us and paradise ever since. What's this about, Carpathia? It's about you two. Serpents in my garden, using unity and prosperity for your own gain. <laughs> Nikolai, you know, that's preposterous. Do not lie to me. so small, so easily manipulated. Tell me, Jonathan, who is the puppet here? Look where I am and look where you are. Do you have any idea? Do you know who you're dealing with? Do you? I welcome all of you to join this great team. Do you accept my invitation? We made you, Nikolai. You're our creation. I see. Donald M. Alternus? Yes, sir. That's me. Of Newark, New Jersey. Why, yes, sir. May I call you Don? Don, give me your sidearm. So begins an object lesson in leadership. Nikolai, you lost your mind. What are you doing? Nikolai. Sit down, Haim. Look, we, uh, we, we, we all want the same thing, right? I'm sure you're right. Miss Durham. Could you please step back? We wouldn't want that suit to be soiled. On your knees, Jonathan. No. No, I will do no such thing. Someone has to stop this! Fuck! We are on the same team. Are we not? Nikolai, please. 
these people will know that I fear no one, that I fear nothing, that I will succeed at anything I set my mind to, without the slightest hesitation or opposition. From this day forward, no one can stand against me. That's the kind of power you lusted for, Jonathan. Don't worry. This will be completely painless. After all, I am not a monster. <laughs> I was so shocked when I saw Mr. Stonegal rush the guard, take his gun, and murder his dear friend, Mr. Cotron, in cold blood. Then, to watch him turn the gun on himself, it seemed inconceivable. But Jonathan was a troubled man, plagued by guilt and fear. And when he heard that Mr. Williams was about to expose him, he knew it was over. He knew that his hideous and evil plan would come out and that his life, his legacy, everything he worked so long and hard for would be ruined. I know that you wanted to do that for Dirk and Alan. But I could not have my new media liaison with blood in his hands. I have big plans for you, Buck. That story you sent to GNN about Stonegal and Cosford should be airing right at this very moment. The whole world will feel sympathy and love for me. They will follow me wherever I lead them. Because of you. So thank you, Buck. Thank you. I think we are all in agreement. Two lives taken in tragedy all because of greed how terribly sad how terribly sad terribly sad terribly